Hey guys, so I'm here today to do a review on the new Wet n Wild brushes that just came out at the drugstore. Um, I, I work in a drugstore, so I get first dibs on all the cool shit that we get. And I saw a display for Wet n Wild, and I know that they had discontinued their old brushes, and they have new ones out now. And before I even bought them, they're like, the eye brushes, the smaller size brushes are 99 cents, which is ridiculous, and the bigger size brushes are $2.99. Um, so when I saw the display, I was like, hmm, do I need those or do I not need those? And then I saw how uh, inexpensive they were, and I thought, hell yeah, I need those. So before I even bought it, any of them, they come in a little package like this. I grabbed this, this kind of brush right here. This is the crease brush. I took it out of the package and felt it before I decided to buy anything. And when I felt it, I was sold and I bought one of almost all of them. I don't I don't have them all yet. So at first I bought like five or six of them and there were a few I didn't buy like the foundation brush and like the flat um, like eyeshadow brush I didn't buy because I didn't really think I'd like it. But now we're sold out and I want them because they're really good. So first, let me mention that they are cruelty free brushes. So, oh, you're not going to be able to see, but it's got the little bunny in the heart ear thing. They're cruelty free, gluten free, vegan. Now, they're made in China, so I mean, is that 100% accurate? I don't know. I mean, I don't know what kind of standards there are in place to ensure that these are vegan and all that like they say but that that isn't what necessarily sold me anyway but the first one I grabbed was the crease brush and that's it's just like a fluffy blending brush one of the issues that I have with these so far is that the packaging with the package that it comes in it smushes the brush tips so well, you're not gonna be able to see that. See how it's kind of flat and it should be it should be fluffy and round like this one, but it's it's sat in that package that's kind of smushed. Or maybe, yeah, because it's round. It should be it should be more fluffy, but it's not. Um But this is the crease brush. I actually bought two of them. And these were only 99 cents. With my employee discount, they're only 84 cents. 84 freaking cents for a crease brush that is better quality than like e.l.f. or even even the Target brand. Now I haven't bought any in a while but the Sonia Kashuk brand um, brushes they're all like hard and gross or even like eco, eco tools like this is like the same kind of similar brush but it's cut all crappy and it's just not as soft as these. These are so soft. When I grabbed this, I was seriously shocked at how soft they are. My only issue with these so far is that they're almost too dense at this point. Maybe after they're washed and used a few times, um, they won't feel so dense. Maybe it'll fluff out more after being washed and stuff and it won't be so harsh. Because it does, it does work nice, but it just, you could put, you risk putting way too much product on and it's, it's not as easy to blend as like a MAC 224. This isn't as dense. It's like fluffier. Um, hopefully over time this will become more like this. But still, for 99 cents, that's amazing. Um, another one I got is the small stipple brush which I these are really good for like cream products like cream blush cream highlight cream bronzer even if you wanted to but see how it's smashed you can see because the way that it's packaged like over time hopefully that kind of spreads out and goes into the shape that it should be because that's kind of like awkward to put product on with a smashed ass brush. This one was $2.99. All these bigger brushes were $2.99. This is the blush brush, also smashed all to hell. Um, hopefully over time it'll open back up. I had the same problem with this one 
as I did with the eyeshadow crease brush. It's just super dense. So blush, I prefer, anyway, because these are all synthetic fibers, I don't know if I mentioned that. I prefer, like, the goat hair for um, blush because it's not as, you don't risk putting too much on like you do with this because it's so dense. They have the contour brush, which I probably would use this for, yeah, I guess contour. And with that, with how this is flat right now, it could be used as like a highlighting brush. Um, this one too, you could easily highlight with that because it's really soft. It is so soft. Very soft. Um, so contour, you can contour. You can highlight. You can put blush on. You can do whatever the hell you want. And the last one that I picked up is the flat top brush. Here's one from e.l.f. I think this one from e.l.f. e.l.f. is like three bucks. Yeah, three or four or something. They're both pretty soft across the top. The e.l.f. one actually feels more dense than the Wet n Wild one. So I'm actually really excited. You could use this for foundation, like liquid foundation, or just powder all over, you know, something like this. Also $2.99. So there is a foundation brush too, and I did buy that one, but I forgot it at work. Um, I didn't even open it, so I don't know what it feels like, but I'm sure it feels like a standard foundation brush. But all in all, like seriously, for the prices that these brushes are, it's unreal. Um, I can't even believe that this is a thing. You know what I mean? Like, I know e.l.f. has some pretty decent stuff for really cheap. But for some reason, this just seems like so much of a better value to me. Um, I don't know. I just, I can't even believe it. Because e.l.f. has that line of like the super duper duper inexpensive brushes that are, I want to say the handles on them are white. And then they have like the studio or whatever the hell it's called that are in the black. And these are, these are a little bit higher priced, but they're better quality. These compare to the higher quality e.l.f. brushes but are at the price of their lower quality brushes. So any makeup beginner or just somebody who likes brushes or honestly like I want duplicates of all of them. I already have two of these and I actually bought a second of the stipple brush but I left that at work too. Um, you cannot beat the value for these brushes. So if you see these in your local drugstore, definitely pick them up because they are definitely worth it. Another thing I noticed too is that there's hardly been any shedding of the bristles, except the one I just pulled out just now. <clears throat> but when I, I did my eyeshadow with this one, I did not lose one. The only one I've lost out of so far has been the blush brush. Way to go Wet n Wild for stepping up your brush game. Um, I look forward to them expanding this collection. Hopefully they do because one could never have enough brushes. Especially when you're obsessed with makeup. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Um, definitely pick those up if you see them. Do not walk past a display of wet wild brushes and not get anything. Because you'll regret it and they'll sell out. And who knows when they'll get any more back in. So definitely pick some up. Okay, bye. Oh, ew, scrubs. No. Hey girl. I can't find your makeup brushes. Uh, have, will you have someone check in the office? Yeah, did you say you, they were on Anthony's card, right? Yeah, because that was the card I had before I, I took it over to, um, where he was working. Right, Anthony, go in the office and check and see if there's a little bag rolled up with makeup brushes in it, wet and wild. Where, I where I always set my purse in the office. Where she always sets her purse in the office. Over in the corner, on the right corner. <laughs>
Says he doesn't know where you put your purse. Oh my god. 